All right, what's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here, and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to talk about Night Terrors, The Joker, issue number two of two. This one is written by Matthew Rosenberg and art by Stefano Raphael. And this is the second part of this Joker storyline. What did this add overall to Night Terrors? Absolutely nothing. It just felt like an excuse to do a random two-issue story with Joker in this dream state and what his role would be like without Batman. And it's kind of has some dark comedy in there but if you're looking for something that's just going to really add to the night terrors event i don't think this one uh does enough on its own if you're looking for a really interesting joker story again i don't think this one is necessarily like the most interesting joker story i read i felt like i kind of just wasted my time a little bit same thing with the poison ivy one at least with the rose wilson one there was a more interesting storyline with there, and it did set the stage for some potentially like fascinating stuff to explore going forward. And with the Black Adam one, it's leading into another issue of Night Terror. So that those story elements are being picked up. This one, as it stands, the Joker is still kind of living his life. He's like without Batman, and just he has a family and all that, and he's still living at Wayne Inter or working at Wayne Enterprises. Other various villains are there. He has a dead Batman in his closet. There's a baseball game where he murders Jimmy Olsen or whatever and Lex Luthor's the other coach and he kind of goes in and out of like what the heck is going on here confusing random stuff's going on he dresses up like Batman he wakes up and he's like oh, I'm gonna go back to sleep so all things considered this didn't really add uh, very much of anything uh, in terms of the Night Terror storyline in really any capacity or anything that could potentially like from that from the dream elements really carry over into the real world in fact the joker could just fall back asleep like oh that was just a weird dream and then just go back to doing his normal shtick so i i don't think this really added much overall but if you want a kind of a more goofy random weird joker story then i guess this will scratch that itch if you're looking for that there's some great looking artwork sprinkled in i mean all these night terrors books have generally had some really solid artwork. I mean, these are professional comic book artists. There should, uh, the artwork should be pretty good uh, for the amount of money uh, we're paying for these types of comics. And the artwork is pretty good, and there's some interesting looking visuals, and there's some darkly funny stuff sprinkled in throughout it. It's just that I felt like for this event, I felt like I kind of wasted my time uh, with this thing. It didn't add much. You didn't really need it. You could have skipped this thing. You could have skipped the Poison Ivy thing. You really could have skipped pretty much anything Night Terror's not written by Joshua Williamson, uh, unless you had something that was a little bit more interesting uh, with a story hook. Like I said, the Rose Wilson Ravager one, I think, was probably the best. And I guess the Zatanna one, too. I like that one as well. But this one, I just feel like I kind of wasted my time with it. Didn't really add up much. Wasn't all that interesting or exciting. It just kind of came and went, if you will. So anyways, uh, now that I've got that out of the way, this is kind of a quicker video because I just don't have that much else to say about it. But uh, if you have any thoughts on this particular issue, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, I'll hit the bell for notifications, all that other fun stuff. I will be back again uh, sometime later on this week for more videos, but this is going to wrap it up for the Night Terrors week one of month number two. So only a few more weeks left, and then we are done with Night Terrors. Thank goodness, because this is an exhaust event to cover so not to say that anything has been outright terrible it's just even at like it's worse it's just been eh, it was just okay you didn't really need to read it so but uh yeah all right i've rambled on long enough as always take care now bye bye then and i'll see you all in the next video peace